Hello friends, in part 1 of this uh, video lecture series we have discussed the first step of uh, digitization and that was georeferencing. Now we have to digitize this whole map and this can be done by using R catalog. We have to use R catalog for the creation of, of uh, shape files and shape files should be created in some folder. To uh, locate that folder you have to click connect to folder option in order to locate that folder. So I have created this folder and I will be creating all the shape files in the same folder. Now uh, you have to locate uh, this folder under catalog so that we can create the shape files. Right click this folder and then go to new and then shape files. Shape files are of three types that is point, line and polygon but since we are uh, digitizing formation so I will select the type as a polygon and then uh, you have to write a name for uh, this polygon like I can uh, type this uh, polygon for lecture 13 and then you have to assign the coordinate system for each and every shape file this can be done by clicking on edit and then select the same coordinate system that you have selected for uh, the georeferencing and we have used WGS 1984 while we were georeferencing this map so I will again select this WGS 1984 for every shape file then click OK now you can see uh, the shape file is having a coordinate system which is WGS 1984 then uh, you have to locate the editor tool. Editor tool can be uh, selected by clicking this white portion and you can choose the editor from this list. But I already have uh, placed this editor uh, toolbar over here. So you have to select start editing. We can see that uh, uh, we have a shape file that we have to select for uh, the digitization but before that you have to select create features and then select the shape file that you just created so click or select the shape file and then start uh, digitizing or tracing the formation you can zoom in or zoom out by using mouse roller or by this uh, symbols for zooming in and zooming out and then you need to zoom in in order to accurately digitize each formation or uh, polygon so you can see I have a problem in digitizing this polygon because of uh, visibility so click on the shape file under layers and then click on properties and then go to display and then uh, increase some transparency you can see the base map under the polygon so i will speed up this portion another feature for digitization of uh, this polygon and that feature is autocomplete because you can see there is a common boundary between two different uh, polygon so if you select this autocomplete polygon you do not need to uh, digitize the common boundary between two different polygons so you just have to click autocomplete uh, option and then quickly digitize uh, the borders of the polygon but you would not need to again digitize the common boundary between two polygons so in the same way using autocomplete polygon you have to digitize all the remaining uh, polygons as you can see the fifth the sixth and the seventh polygon all are uh, digitized by this autocomplete option and then click on save edits now you can see all the formations are digitized but they uh, they are displayed by single or same color now we have to assign different colors or lithological symbols 
to these formations this can be done by the attribute table which can be selected by right clicking uh, the shape file and then you have to go to folder options and then select add field but add field is not functional until you stop the editing so you can see now the add field option is functional because we have stopped the editing then add a name for uh, this field like I can add formations and then select the type because it is a description so you need to choose text and here you can add the number of characters that would be required for the description of these formations okay now we have to write a name for every polygon that means for every formation so uh, for this you need to uh, type the names or description for every polygon this can be done by starting the editing again so you have to again start editing now double click this small triangle in order to locate this uh, first polygon you can see from the map this polygon is labeled as TE so I will write TE in the description of this polygon then double click the second polygon and this is TP so I will write TP in the description of this formation T and P now the third polygon which is which is TM so I can see from uh, this map or you can see from the legends of uh, the older map so uh, the third polygon is TM so I will type TM here capital T and M and then the fourth polygon fourth polygon is TE we already have assigned this name for the first polygon so in order to show these two similar formations we need to type 100% same text for both of these formations or polygon so that we can assign similar color or uh, symbols throughout the map so this is case sensitive even I cannot add a single uh, space bar which is not given in the previous uh, description of the same formation so you need to type 100% same text for both formations now again uh, you can type all the names for all these formations as I have done now uh, we have to assign different colors to these uh, formations this can be done by clicking the properties of uh, the shape file the polygon shape file then you have to go to display and uh, reduce the transparency and then go to symbology and then click categories and then select the field that you just created and it was uh, formations then click add all values so you can see we have seven polygons in total three are labeled as TE one as TM and three are labeled as TP so the similar polygons are displayed with the similar color or uh, text as well you can change the color from uh, this option then click apply and ok you can also change the color of uh, these polygons by clicking the same formation and then type limestone for example over here and it would be uh, the same polygon would be displayed as limestone and then you can change the colors as well so you can see all uh, the formations which were assigned the same name or description are being uh, displayed with the same pattern or symbol throughout the map then you can also assign simple colors to these formations 
now we have uh, digitized these formations but uh, we also have uh, some structural uh, features in this map so uh, we will save all the edits and now we would be digitizing the structural features of this map like you can see uh, through uh, this map that we also have a thrust fault and an anticline but it would be visible when we uh, increase some transparency again. so in order to show this thrust fault with the hanging wall to the north you have to digitize this fault from right to left direction and for this again you need to create a shape file in the same folder using our catalog so locate that folder and then click new and then shape file then select the type of a shape file here we will select polyline and then you can write any name for uh, this shape file again assign coordinate system which we used for georeferencing and it was WGS1984 so now go back to editor again click start editing and select create feature option and then select the shape file that you have created for uh, this fault so I will be digitizing this thrust fault in uh, right to left direction because the hanging wall is to the north if the hanging wall is to the south then you would re be required to digitize it in uh, left to right direction so you can see I have uh, traced this fault and now the anticline once you have uh, traced both of these structural features you will be uh, you will need to go to the shape file again and then select uh, uh, then select the attribute table and then stop editing so that the add field function uh, may be functional write any name for uh, this description for example this may be structures and then select the type of description as text and then add the characters so now we have to uh, assign the names for these structural features so double click this small polygon and then click start editing and because the first uh, feature is a thrust fault so I will write thrust fault here then double click the second polygon and it is an anticline so I will be typing anticline for this now close the attribute table go to the properties of uh, polyline shape file and go to symbology then categories select the field which was structures and then click add all values so we have one anticline and one thrust fault now you have to click apply and ok now we have to assign uh, different symbols we have to assign a symbol of thrust fault to the thrust fault and the symbol of anticline to the anticline so click on thrust fault symbol of thrust fault and uh, type thrust in search and select this symbol you can also change the thickness so you can see the same line is now being displayed as a thrust fault for anticline click on the line of the anticline search anticline and then select the symbol for anticline you can see uh, this anticline is being displayed on uh, this map so after this we have the final stage of digitization that is the layout view in the layout view we have to finalize this map uh, this is a very important and tricky step so you have to uh, go to the third part of uh, this video series